why is it so hard for men to just back their daily their pockets to women that are working hard men do the bare minimum for women who are very independent so i could see the reflection of his phone on my phone mm -hmm. yonki into everything my channel if you are new here thank you so so much for stopping by if you're a returning subscriber thank you so so much boo today we'll be talking about a very interesting but controversial topic mm -hmm. and i have got an amazing guest one of my very good friends uprashasi i'll guys. leave her insta handle as well at the bottom as usual please introduce yourself babes hi guys i am precious also known as all hail precious on instagram so yeah before we proceed, I think please be advised that whatever we are discussing today, it's based on our experience, different experiences that is, and we might be helping other women out there. We're not doing it for ourselves. Hey, women are going through the most, and it's because of men. Yeah. You saw recently, oh, she's cake are trending, so <laughs> might as well. Kunzima. Kunzima. It's, it's really hard Yo, out there. Rough. So the topic for today is independent versus non-independent woman. Mm -hmm. And then we're also going to include like how men also like men on social media versus, versus men, meeting men in yes, public the differences so yeah so today it's just about comparison yeah, so should we so, tackle the topic yeah but so let's all, start yeah cheers, cheers. i myself i uh, started working right after high school i won't mention the years but it's been <clears> years mm. i have a good six year experience working mm. so i know how it is to be independent you know everything is looking at you same with me i also started working at a very young age i have mentioned this before um so yeah guys it's rough it's tough i'm gonna lie to you like when when you know that i have this money and this money needs to cater for one two three four five maybe sometimes it's because things are so expensive these days don't even have enough money to cater for your own social mm -hmm. needs or your own like it's wants kind of yeah so what we want to say in essence is the fact that like independent women are hard workers but we feel like men don't um appreciate, appreciate it uh, yeah. and they appreciate maybe non-independent women more so we're going to tackle like these topics and go into how they don't how the differences in all between an independent okay and let's do woman. this be an independent woman in this situation and mm -hmm. i'm going to be a non-independent woman okay cool so you tackle the topic and then yeah. uh, it's sort of like a debate in a way okay but cool. putting in two differences okay so okay. she's independent and i am non-independent yeah so in this case people may say i'm a slay queen because i do not have a job i'm not working i'm just living my best life and then she's working she's a nine to five girl she's working Monday to Friday, sometimes weekends. So and I'm a hard worker. Listen, guys, I make my own money. Um, I don't get... Yes, obviously, if I'm dating someone or seeing something, they do help me out. But I'm not going to say now they give me the amount of money that oh, I can pay for my whole life, whole month's expenses and all of that. It's just money to help me here and there, right? While you are a hard worker, look, I'm not working. I'm that girl, always. I'm Nyawahamba Lema Restaurant. I'm at Halton Hotel. I'm at I don't have a job, but I have the money to pay for these outings. I things come easy to me. You know what? I wake up every day, put my makeup, I look dolled up in Gibamushe, and I go out and have lunch, mm -hmm. knowing very well what that's gonna be taken care of me. In all essence, I'm not a hard worker, but things come easily to me. Yes, yes. And for me, I feel like it's so unfair because like I work my ass off, right? I work my ass off. And if I ask a man for a mere 500 rand, it's a story. It's a problem. And think of me, all, I put my facts there. Like, I want 5k. Now. Yes, I and want 5k there. or it's nothing. So why is that? That's one thing that I do not that, understand. That's our issue right now. Like, you. why is it so hard for men to just back their daily, their pockets to women that are okay. working hard and non-independent? I'm a slay queen, remember, in this instance. And look, I have a Gucci bag. I have an LV bag. A diamond walk is my second best friend. She has none of those. She will shop at Zara. She will shop with at my money. With my money. my own. Sinabani, we have to work our asses off for that small car. That small ass Kia Picanto, you must work your ass off to get it. But yeah, people who are not doing anything, 
get it all exactly and one thing about me the difference is that i am more expensive and mm. she is less expensive yes. and another thing i feel like as the slay queens the non-independent we are easy targets the more i carry my gucci bag and smelling my skin cosmetics perfume the men come to me and be like oh i already know this one which it's all about the money what else when they approach the independent woman they see the house uh, the car keys the blazer on i'm sure she has the tag from work and they'd be like oh this one is a threat yes and she's already she already can do it for herself her for herself so why am i contributing i think that's the mentality that they also have true see you already doing it for yourself so and another doing? painful thing is men do the most for those that are yes. not Yes. independent but i think at the same time a lot of working women look for relationships look for men look Thank for marriage you. look for seriousness yes and then those and type of men are not about it they're still yes. playing that's why they would rather go and for spend money yes. now 10k manje nyana for lawyer because i know i'm not With, taking her for seriously. me who's non-independent because we yes. all about vibes i'm not gonna stress you boo we're just gonna have our fun i want the money and we out whereas me i'm gonna stress you i'm and going I'm to say not hey, gonna control why are you not coming exactly. home at this time why are you not doing this at this mm -hmm. time because i know who i am and i know my worth hey i will know your worth. yes <laughs> i will know your worth. The non-independent girls they call us the hookup girls girls that are selling themselves on the streets so that they get the money so men don't want to be controlled so they be like Ish, this girl is working and you mentioned this big company with your you're working at we won't mention names because we're protecting companies yeah, that yeah. we're working for but you're working at this company yes big and position. Like, hmm, so what do you do i need to already the guy is feeling what the pressure you are you are a threat yabon was ah this one mm. he's going to stress me yes he's, she's gonna want to be by my side all the time yes. uh she's gonna work in seriousness, yes, seriousness. and i'm like not about men do them. the bare minimum for women who are very independent True. and exactly. yo that, that thing is annoying yeah, that's what because you're it's about. like i already have my things so why don't you spoil me like i'm already doing it for myself so why aren't you at least True. pulling your weights and just spoiling me once in a while i'm not saying lavish my lifestyle and give me everything and pay for all my bills i'm just saying spoil me and where else us who are not working yeah we will get the most get honey the we will get Heaven those hundred roses lights the luxury things it's all about soft life in this yes. world of mine yes of being non-independent and the guy who's out there they like go by easy man but yeah mm. he's struggling and the question is why mm. if men please do comment and yes. enlighten us yes, so that Actually, we get clarity on why do you guys do this i know it's not all men and it's based on both our experiences mm -hmm. and you'll sit there and you cry and be like i'm working so hard that's how day. you give him your all and yes you, you literally you're like loving this you yes. this and this and you feel like you're doing all the right things maybe we're controlling Maybe we too control. That's another thing. As me, be independent. Don't we? Yes, I don't know your worth. I'm annoying. No, I'm annoying. With shape. us, we yeah. know what's yeah. Ish, it's month end. <laughs> I need to pay that rent. So I yeah. need to go through my list and be like, oh, John from Santon, <laughs> Mario from Rosebank. <laughs> You Joseph see, at the end of the day, from, now we know who he is. You stick to one now. guy, yes. Uh, because You're my money is coming salary, in. My yes. is coming in at the end of You're the month, I know. You're waiting for your salary, and yes. I'm just going through my contacts and be like, I need to contact <laughs> John, Joseph, and Moses because <laughs> my rent is due. I need to pay for that Mercedes. Petrol is going up every literally single day. So I need to make a plan. Friend, they bought you the Mercedes cash. Yes. Yeah. And petrol. Uh, yeah, it's petrol. My issue is petrol, petrol yes. and deductions from uh, the insurance yes. monthly. Oh, but yeah, other than sure. that, I'm like, uh, I'm the learning type. Yeah. You see, and yeah, yes. she doesn't beg, but still, uzo but she because gets to I a want certain love. Yes. yes. But I mean, I'm just all about the vibes and money. Mm. Guys, guys, men, please do comment and write <laughs> us and tell us what is the issue like you 
oh, like, you're even literally running out of words because yeah, Dina, it, it's draining. It we are not saying we're working, we we're working for men so that we get recognition. No, that's another men. thing. Men use no. us on top of that. When you're independent woman, men will use you. And men, men will be like, oh, you know, so we're working. Have, uh, I don't know. I don't have petrol. Petrol. No. You sleep, it's a sleepover. It's during the week. That's why I hate sleepovers during the week. And then Melo Vugan at 6 a.m. You need to prefer for work. Where are you going? It's so early. Dude, I'm going, I'm to, going work. to work. Oh no, stay. I'll pay you the salary for today. I'm like, I used to get this a lot. I'm like, do you even know how much they pay me a day where you're saying I'll pay you for today? Miss work. Number one, finding a job in SA is not easy. And being a slay queen and being non-independent is not for everyone. But independent women are going through it all hey we see it all yes on instagram the most women that are living their best lives are those that don't, that don't please don't kill me for this but i know a few they don't have a cv they've never worked and they, they just have it. yes they have it easy they don't, don't know understand. how it is to sit in an office and work literally from eight to five sometimes even extra hours monday to friday even on a saturday and you get a salary only once a month bona every month is payday like payday they dress up during the week at this time what Not time every is month, it? every day yes payday. every day it's yes. three o'clock they'll call the friend boo let's dress up let's go uh let's have lunch they don't even cook else oh tina oh tina bow yo as but tired also, as you are, you, you get to your place. You you want to cook. Pegele in is kaftina yes for work for work tomorrow yes. because you don't want to order Mr. D of Uber Eats. You want to cook so that you eat and prepare lunch box for work. Also, I wanted to add on and say, um, I in the non it's both same non independent and independent women go through the most. Men also usually disrespect non independent women. Right, the disrespect is there. Yeah, when it's the not even lie. Yes, yes, when they're over it and they over you. You do like that, you know, tissue that I blow my nose and Just then I throw it in the bin. Look, we are not judging anyone or bashing anyone or labeling any woman out there. We just want answers. We basically doing this video seeking answers from men. Or what? What is it that independent women and non-independent women have that makes like our cry is why what's the difference? yes what's in the difference? difference to be honest with you Kumnandi having your own money and knowing very well that it's coming in a legit way and you're not depending on anyone because let's always leave a room for disappointment yes. when it comes to men <laughs> i can have john joseph moses Tabo, <laughs> Tabang, and all of them they will blue tick me because at the end of the day that is their money it's not our money yeah. just because they gave me that mm. 50k it's not last yours. month it doesn't yeah. mean they can they're gonna give it to me every month mm. some they are like you would tell them 50k every month yes. if men can answer please comment below, comment please. below and, and let say, us know why what, what is it what are the differences that yeah. you as men are experiences are experiencing sorry yeah. and what can independent and non-independent women do and change so that we both on attract the same, the level, same thing yes. we're on the same level at the end of the day we are both women and even though we are working every day we want also i'm a gucci that i didn't buy with my salary we also want to go out every now and then see my lunch and know that oh that we just pop in champagne yes on Not a with my own money yes, on a regular yeah. day, honey yeah. Yeah. and then you find them drinking on a, honey it's during the week when i'm there at work <laughs> yes, about good day, kind regards. Yes, yeah, kind of vuga. Yes. Actually, I guess going to a restaurant to have brunch. Yes. Me your food is Captain Sunny by that the cafe you last night yes. by yourself when you got home late after work. So okay. moving on to the other topic that we wanted to talk mm. about, it's men we meet on, on social, social media, media versus men you meet out of social media. You know, guys. I think men on Instagram usually just want to fulfill a fetish because they see go to oh 
oh okay this one looks like this i i just want one thing yo i got a call guys and uh, we just we filled out last someone wants in. yeah you want us to get drunk i think it's because we're getting into a deep heated topic that yeah Mila, I'm not doing it Instagram. No, Chris and Shem, she's here. Me, I think for me, I haven't. I honestly, I, I don't think my problem them with, anymore with me is me. that I've given them so many chances, thinking mm. that they are different. But no, it's not. It's the same thing. I have Mila. Yes, it's literally the same thing. Yeah. No. When I, oh, Jovek and Cape Town, <laughs> same thing. No, guys, I feel like Cape Town is better. Mm. I've always said it. Mm. I've always said it. <laughs> no. For me, I feel like Cape Town is better. Like, but also, I think we also need to just change. Um, our tech, not technique, but the people who we hang around with and the type of men we date. I mean, for me, since I've done this, I'm 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 much happier. I'm not saying it's perfect, mm -hmm. but I'm happier. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm on my happier. side. I, I've, I've, I'm at a point where I'm like, whoever DMs me on Instagram, I'm alright. You keep it. No, I'm not blocking. Keep it moving. I'm not your type. I'm not your soulmate. <laughs> I'm not your type. Don't don't DM me. <laughs> don't DM me. Do not. Don't even follow me because if you, mm. I feel like if I'm not giving you the attention, they sit, you go through my followers and see and oh. see the girls I follow and you be like, not knowing what the girl you're following is my friend and we have separate chats on WhatsApp. So it, it's really exhausting, guys. It's really exhausting. Oh, and then you find those men that are so in doctor. When you're at a restaurant, yeah. at the airport, yeah. at work, yeah. that's the time. Yeah. So if you are a lady, yeah. you're still entertaining a guy yeah, that has guys. Instagram. Yo, yeah. a big ex. Do you know a man, a guys? Man. Do you guys know a man? I'm looking for something. I, have, I even have a coat. That's how fed up I am about <laughs> Instagram men. And I think also when you meet guys in person, they see the real you. Like they see what's all oh, her body's like this. Personality, they get to know you and speak Thank to you, you from One thing go. about Instagram so, men, they're all about Nyash. Yes. It's the S. Yes. The S and it's, the S and the S and the S. Real it's like, fake. Yeah. It's the S. It's like, come, oh, you are talking to them, come to my place already. Thank you. They second. come to my why? place. Why am I coming to you for what? Am I disabled? I must leave my comfort zone and come to your place for eating. Oh, it is a red flag to me if you are a guy and you have 100k followers. Means that you're barely already. Well, and, and especially if you're following, like, oh, follow a lot of women. Count me out. Me what up. are you doing with these followers? So many. Because on your TL, you're seeing women. So obviously, you can. I was actually with the. Uh, with, um, with this other guy let's talk and, about our experiences and obviously like you can so what i was doing i was watching it so we in cuddles and i was watching netflix yeah, and my phone was like here mm -hmm. and then he was obviously on here yeah you understand? behind you, you yeah. understand? so i could see the reflection of his phone on my phone mm -hmm. young kid to everything pi he's here Woman. he's here scrolling mm, scrolling going into profiles of women uh, going to message hi how are you and i'm like oh i was so turned off so yeah guys me i just want to say like from the men i've met on instagram to the men i've met in person it's been pure bliss like Yo, i'm for me. at my happiest Musical. with the men i have met in well, the no, man no. i have met as person. for me now that I've, i know better and i've compared the two men out of social media top tier and uh, mm -hmm. because you know what actually I've, I've been more happier than meeting a guy out of social media compared to mm -hmm. the guy that i follow on instagram yeah and, and what men that you meet on social media show you that they just want one thing you see it like it's not even a but one thing about women thing. we see the red flags and once and you we, turn them yes green. and it's not gonna work not please men work. please do comment men please, we guys, dedicate this video to you please. men whether you black pimp uh purple <laughs> blue gray we are not discriminating anyone if you are a man and you are that gender please comment and you have and an share, opinion and yes, want to share. share your opinion please let us know and your you experience to know. with us yes. what you have experienced please. 
being with an independent and non-independent woman and you as a man having social media and not having social media so that we get clarity on our lives because some of us are not gifted <laughs> we so, can't see exactly. we can't throw and, and see one, I think my problem is I give people chances like I, I'll be like no this but one you must is stop different. that now friend I feel like I've once stopped. you see something leave that's me I mean I'm learning again I, I, I've me. stopped so if you have I Instagram once, and you like me, find other ways. You can even download TikTok or email me. Email. <laughs> exactly, like email me because TikTok. If, 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 if you have Instagram, yeah, no, there's a girl that bought her men over TikTok. Really? And they met but two yeah, months But dating sites married. are not bad either, guys. Dating sites are not bad. It depends People meet their their Twitter yeah, when they're yeah we hear um, stories you yes. Tinder yes I met my husband on yes. Tinder and whatnot I just think now it's one used thing in I would not recommend way. and I've never seen a video saying I met my man and we met on Instagram oh, and never. the relationship prospered. It, it shows Forget that it. Instagram is toxic because, because people are turning it into yes. a something that is not. And on Instagram, we're DMing 5 million other people. So you won't be focusing That's why on I'm that like, person alone. Nigga be going through his list and be yes. like, Bali, Tap Steel and Tabby Sing, Tando, Valencia. <laughs> you know what? If you don't reply to me, I am going to the next one. Yes, so why should I next? beg you? That's Definitely. why I'm saying the men that are on Instagram are know your worth and uh, yeah we're saying instagram because that's the most talked about and Sides. most yes. and most used site at the yes moment, most actually. used app yeah. i've never experienced any bad vibes yeah. from tiktok um not not tiktok Sna uh, ah. which one tiktok S snapchat 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 um no I'm snapchat is more private like whatsapp Snapchat, see, I feel like you have the people that you know. Yes, Snapchat. you have in control. Yeah, yeah. You have, uh, you you know what? Yeah. On Instagram, you post something on close friends. Yeah. Screenshots. Mm -hmm. It goes so, on to the next one. Yeah. yeah, so please, guys, share with us so that we get clarity. Yes, thank you so, so much for watching. If you reach this point of this video, please do not to. Please, yo, I'm so drunk. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And also follow U precious on instagram i'll please also leave do. her handle yes. below and yeah thank you so much. please let us know guys yes the Especially main important men, thing is we males. want clarity and also it's not closed off to women as well please guys let us know your opinion both genders yes. are most welcome thank you for thank watching thank you so, so much guys bye see you on my next one <laughs>